Hey guys, it's Kyle here. Uh, today I have the Panasonic uh, Toughbook CF54. This is a successor to the Panasonic CF53. It is in Panasonic's semi-rugged line. Um, you're going to get three foot drop ratings here. You're going to get a sunlight viewable screen. Um, the magnesium alloy casing, which makes it a very good build quality, very durable. Um, and this is a really slick um, new laptop that Panasonic has come out with. Um, you know, the biggest thing you see difference from the 53 right away is just how skinny this thing is and how light it is. You're looking at almost a full pound difference at around four pounds um, versus um, the 5.1 for the CF53. Um, so let's jump into this here and uh, get a little bit more in depth on the CF54. Uh, so you got a full keyboard here. You can get a missive backlit, standard keyboard, etc. Um, you got a 14 inch um, HD screen. Like I said, that is sunlight viewable. Um, you know, you got your trackpad. Um, this trackpad is probably one of the best trackpads Panasonic has come out with. I'm very impressed with this trackpad. Um, it has a very good feel to it. it it's very responsive. Um, definitely a good upgrade from some of their other ones in the past. Um, Let's go into some of the ports, see exactly what you get here. All right, guys. So over here, you're gonna have an SD card slot, and then you also have an on-off for the mic, which is something nifty. I've never seen that before, uh, but definitely good if you wanna have that option. Some more ports here, you get two USB 3.0s, and here's your um, LAN port with a DCN. On the back here, you're gonna get another USB 3.0, and your HDMI. Um, now, just to note, one of these USB is a 1.5 amp charging USB. And right here is a multi drive slot. Um, it does not come standard on the CF54, which it did on the CF53, uh, but that also opens up the 54 to a couple more options. You can put, um, for um, example, you can put a second optional media bay battery in here to. Uh, greatly increase the life um, expectancy of the laptop, which you're, right now you're looking at around 10 to 15 hours, but you can increase that with the optional media bay battery. All right, we'll go over dimensions here. Just give you an idea of what size you're looking for, or looking at with this Panasonic CF54. So overall width, you're looking about 13 and a half inches. Depth, um, let's call it nine and three quarters about 10 and 3 quarters if you include the handle. And then the biggest thing here is just how thin this is. This is thinner than any um, rugged laptop that has come out before. It is the thinnest rugged laptop in its class. So let me see it over here real quick. So you're looking about one inch and a quarter, a little heavy. So you get a very thin um, rugged design here that competes with even some consumer models out there um, but retains that you know that um, extreme durability of a Panasonic Toughbook. Um, and one of the things I want to note here is also the hinge design on the Panasonic C54. Um, I was a little concerned with how light this is um, that the hinge design might be an issue. Uh, since these are typically docked in vehicles this is really great for police departments um, that want to put this in their vehicle. Um, Especially with the touch screen, the screens get touched a lot. If the screen walks back, um, that becomes an issue. Um, but this screen is, um, the hinge design is very, very solid. Um, it does take quite a bit of pressure to move the screen. Um, if I hit this, um, it's not walking back. Um, so if you have big hands, gloves, etc., you're going to be able to touch on the screen uh, without that screen walking back, and you're going to not have quite the vibration um, going down the road as you would with other computers. Um, if you're worried about that, we do sell Panasonic um, screen supports um, and our mounting and docking pages on our website. Um, if you have any questions about the Panasonic CF54, uh, feel free to um, reach us at theruggedstore.com. Our chat line is always open during business hours. Give us a call, send us a meet, uh, an email. We'd be happy to help you guys. Um, have a great day.